Hey there, so let's take a look at Discord. Um, Discord is available on your phone, uh, on an app, as well as on your computer. Um, the apps work similarly, um, so it's just a little easier for me to show you all of the things on the computer here. So let's take a look around. Um, I So on the far left, the top icon, which is one of their mascots called Clyde, um, if you click on that, it takes you to your direct messages, shows you your friends list, things of that sort. Um, folks who are online right now, uh, if I click on this icon, my icon, this shows my profile within Discord. Um, I can I, I can look into specific user settings. Um, yeah, let me. There's the escape button. Um, below your direct messages within Discord are your different servers. So servers can be things that you can create. You can create an unlimited number of servers, as far as I'm aware of, unlimited number of servers. And then you can join servers if they're open and, and, and or have shared an invite with you. Uh, some servers are completely open, and if you just click a link that's on somebody's page, it'll get you in. Other servers are locked, and the person would need to send the link directly to you. Um, most of the servers that I'm involved in are servers that are associated with either companies or organizations that I'm active within. Um, some are, many are uh, companies that like, you know, Microsoft, Xbox, uh, you know, game companies, developers, things like that, that have very open servers. But Experience Points is is the server for um, for the organization that I'm the president and founder of. So it allows you to kind of create a community. Um, that's kind of the big benefit of Discord. Uh, Discord is similar to Slack, uh, maybe some other programs like that. Um, Band is another one I'm familiar with that allow work groups to kind of work together. Discord has additional features that are really geared towards the gaming community, but um, they've been promoting themselves as um, you know open to all sorts of communities uh, um, more recently. So. This is all of your, you know, this on the very far left are all of your servers. Uh, the next bar over is uh, the channels and categories within the server that you are active in. So the little highlight option shows you what server you're in. These smaller blips show servers where you may have messages or you may have missed activity, um, but the highlighted larger blip is letting you know what server you're active in. That tells you then what you know, what this means here, all of these different channels and categories, getting started and announcements and server home, et cetera, are categories that I've created. Underneath the categories are channels. That's how you navigate. Um, ca cha um, categories are just ways to organize channels a little bit more readily. If you don't like how crowded this is, you can kind of close the categories to make a little bit more room. Um, some servers will allow you the ability to uh, only show specific channels that you want to be active in if they have a lot of different channels that are available. Because this is my server and I'm the server owner, I'm in all of the channels. So I see all of these things. Um, different types of channels. This is a rules channel. So folks who enter the server will, will start there first. And then I have asked that in order to gain access to the rest of the um, channels within the server that you agree to the rules. Um, many servers do that if they have the community set, um, settings turned on. But if you were creating a small individual server that you were just allowing um, you know, a select group of people who happen to have the link in, maybe you didn't do that. Maybe there are no rules, um, You know, whatever the case may be. So um, text channels are what you see here. It's just long running. If you remember AOL Instant Messenger or things like that, or different chat rooms or, or even Facebook for that matter, where messages will all kind of stack based on who's who's sending them. Uh, that's what a text channel is. Anybody can text into it based on the rules that the server has set up. Um, another channel are uh, another channel icon that you can see are announcement channels these are designated spaces where specific groups of people within the, the server have access to 
pushing out information and it's a way to get that information to the entire server in a kind of concentrated area. So it's a designated announcement channel. You get some additional features within these channels that are different than the text channels. Um, stage channels allow for live streaming. So you could actually do presentations or conferences inside Discord on different stages. Uh, and then the last type of channel that's available within Discord are voice servers or voice channels rather. Um, voice channels can be, they say voice, but they can also be audio and video. So you can have group video calls within voice servers in Discord. It's kind of a nice way. The original idea for how this worked is we can all meet up in the text channels and, you know, share whatever it is we were trying to do. And then let's say we all wanted to play a round of Halo together or something like that. We're all on the Xbox server talking. We can say, well, let's all meet in party chat one. Or a better example of this is maybe if we all wanted to play Call of Duty, because you can play Call, Call of Duty is cross-platform enabled. So I could play on my Xbox and play with someone who's on a PlayStation, and we could both play with someone who's on a PC, for example. But those systems don't necessarily interact with each other for voice chat. But if we all get into Discord together and go into a party chat together, we can all talk to each other. Um, so that's really kind of the the original goal with Discord, as far as I've always understood it to be. It has evolved. Um, and then if we go along the screen, I moved my face here, you can see the server members. So these are all the folks who are in Experience Point server. The colors represent different things that the server um, owner or moderators have selected Um for different purposes. So blue in this server exclusively is for administrators. Um, purple is for bots. Gray is just an average user, just somebody who's in and active. Green are moderators. Uh, and I don't think I have any other colors active right now. Um, this purplish icon or pinkish icon indicates that I am boosting the server. So server boosting is something that um, that you can do to add more features to the server. Um, the more people who boost a server, the more features that the server has available. And that's something that you can pay for with, you know, again, Discord generally is free, but if you pay for server boosting options or get promotions for server boosting options, um, I have some additional promotions through my Xbox Live subscription, then you can boost a server and give it extra features. Let's quickly look at... Um, another server that's more active. So this is Hassan's server. He has a lot more people in his server than I have. Uh, and since he has so many server boosters in the server specifically, um, these are all of his Nitro boosters. He has 73 of them active right now. So his server has all sorts of different features that he can um, utilize. One of which is that he has this colored icon up here, for example uh but yeah folks are active in this server all the time um but that kind of shows you a 153 new messages since 5 14 p.m about 15 minutes or so ago uh that kind of shows you how active servers can be um yeah i think that covers the most of it and gives you kind of an introduction to discord um Thank you for your time.